Hello everyone, how you doing? This is Ramson Jacob, aka Mr. Bay Area. I'm a local broker and investor standing outside of my current project in West San Jose. I want to take you inside, show you everything that I've been working on, things beneath the surface, things above the surface. This is a true turnkey property. Unlike others that you may see that come around on the market, I've spent a lot of energy and time and a lot of attention to details on this property to make sure it is a masterpiece for the next owner to enjoy for many years. It is available as an exclusive off-market opportunity to exclusive clients only before it hits the market. If you're tired of overbids in the Bay Area, you're tired of guessing on the purchase price, you're tired of multiple offers, this is the time to come in with no competition and get a true, fully customized home. I do this all over the Bay Area. I also have another property in South San Jose that's going to be coming to market at the end of September. So it's very wise for buyers to work with me because I get these properties all the time. I own this property. So the only way to get a hold of this property before it hits the market is to be working with me. So I'm going to take you inside the home. We have three bedrooms and two baths, 2,000 square feet of living space. And in the back, we have a detached garage and attached to the detached garage is a detached ADU. The detached ADU has one bedroom, one bath, 300 square feet, and I'm currently working on getting legalized with the city of San Jose. And if you've heard the news in the city of San Jose now, you could sell those off individually if you like. So that'll create huge value for this home. Come on inside and let me show you everything that I've been working on. So here at the front of the property, real quick, you'll see the new front door. I went searching high and wide for a front door that would fit the aesthetic of what I'm creating now. Very happy with that one there. All the landscaping here, as you'll see, is still not been touched yet, but it'll be all renovated, cleaned up all these bushes surrounding the house, right up along the walls of the home and the windows. That's all going to be pulled out along with the ivy bushes that are along the curbside. It's all going to be cleaned up, you have a very nice modern feel and look to it. Now I'm going to take you inside and show you the full renovation that we have. All right, so here I am in the entrance of the home. Right behind the camera is the front door. If you recall in my previous video of the home tour when I first bought the property, the walls had hideous wallpaper all throughout. It made the house feel very dark. And that wallpaper also adds extra labor that the contractors need to pull the wallpaper off and then retexture the entire home right behind me here there was a coat closet and so you walked in and then the coat closet was blocking about halfway of this entrance entrance space and i just thought it made no sense to have it it wasn't load bearing so let's knock that down now you have this nice grand entry and you can see the focus towards directly in the kitchen and the wine fridge down below with the glass cabin door right there. It's a nice eye catcher as soon as you walk into the property. You can see all the way straight down. The living space here to my right. Again, wallpaper all throughout. Now we got recessed lighting throughout the home, nice and bright. I'm going to show you inside here and then go through around to the dining space. All right, so here we are in the nice and large living space. Please excuse all the appliances that are still around here. We have yet to install them. Washer, dryer, oven, microwave. We got the vanities in the other day, so that's going to be good to go. Fireplace here, original wood-burning fireplace. The mantle is original part of the house. That's one piece I wanted to just keep to live on that original character that we had here. This wall mount here, it's electrical outlet wall mount with the HDMI plugs that can go through the wall. Nice setup, makes it nice little camouflage up there once you have the TV set. Window facing out to the front of the home here, window facing out to the side yard where you see the new fence that I extended out for the backyard. And then this space here will go out in towards the dining room and the back half of the house. This was before closed up, non-load bearing wall. I said, let's knock it off. And then now we have a huge open space here. It can go back and forth either through the front of the hall or through this back way here. It makes the house feel so much bigger in my opinion. Everybody that's came through here already just jaw dropping. Can't believe the layout. Let me go keep on showing you the rest. All right, so walking through the living room, now we're in the dining space area, and you can see the kitchen down behind me. So this makes this whole room here nice and open, feels very spacious. 
previously before the renovation began this had on this side of the wall here was a bookshelf this was all covered up so this non-load bearing wall just didn't make any sense once you got into this space this was previously a small family room it felt very tight you felt cordoned in i said you know let's knock this open let's open up everything and now you have this nice flow nice layout feels very spacious in my opinion people just love the layout every time neighbors come walking in they want to see what's going on i invite them in no problem and they just can't believe it to be honest so here we have the dining space set up new chandelier up top this is where i would stage the table uh you could fit six very easily you could fit eight maybe you can even go ten that's how big this space is whoever buys a home obviously they can set it up however they wish and then we'll go a little deeper and get into the kitchen now but and we also have a backyard door access this way too. One of my favorite features of this home is the kitchen. I'm very proud of how this kitchen came out. The before and after transformation, honestly, you would not believe it. Matter of fact, the previous owner was driving by the other day. She wanted to take a look inside. I said, come on in. She could not believe it. Her jaw was dropping. Before, there was an old brick set up from the floor to the ceiling with the oven microwave, some more bricks in the cooktop over here. Stuck out like a sore thumb, that needed to go. Over here, there wasn't much of anything besides they had a china cabinet set up. So I got here my, what I coined the term of a mama's island set up right over here. And then brand new island set up over here. Nice waterfall. Brand new cabinets, the entire kitchen along with everything in the home has been fully remodeled. You have your sink over here, dishwasher set up, you have your trash over here. Ooh, actually the handle isn't there. Trash over here, handle hasn't been installed yet, maybe one sticking right over there. On this side of the kitchen, you're going to have your oven and microwave combo stacked up. We have a nice cooktop here. Hood's gonna come on down. Fridge, obviously. You can see the lighting fixture that's uh, yet to be installed. I mean, take a look at this kitchen. You don't see many this size and this type of finishes. This countertop here is limited, which I found at a special location. They don't have much of it at all. High quality stuff, high quality materials all throughout the house. Nothing has been short shifted. I pay attention to all the small details in my projects. If you're a buyer and you're coming in and you're seeing this home, I guarantee you're going to appreciate everything that you see. Let's go in towards the bedrooms and the bathrooms. All right, here I am in the primary bedroom. All new recessed lighting as you'll see throughout. New ceiling fans. These nice, solid pine wood doors, single pane, adds a really nice touch to the home, I believe. Everything throughout the house has been upgraded with the electrical, all done with permits. This way here, we have the closets. It's a little dark still in here. The light is not installed. And then we'll head into the primary bathroom that is right behind me over there. All right, here in the primary bathroom, this is gonna be a custom masterpiece. I have dual shower heads on each side of the bathroom. I know you don't see that very often in homes around here. This niche box that you see here runs 16 inches high all the way across the shower wall. As you can see, we have six foot going from end to end. So it's about five feet and a half wide, I would guess. And un underneath it, you probably can't see it, but there are two cords hanging out from right there. We're going to have some spotlights coming down so you can turn those on only and turn the rest of the lights off in the bathroom. Set the mood. Late night, you want to go to bed. You don't want the shiny light brights. You want to take a nice shower and go to sleep. This is going to be your ultimate bathroom. We're going to have a 60-inch vanity right over here. Double sinks. And then right where the camera is located now is going to be the toilet. The finishes for the bathroom wall is going to be white with a little hint of black along with the floor tile. And then the floor tile on the niche will match the tile on the floor. And then on the walkway space of the bathroom, we have light gray tiles. The vanity has a nice light wood color with the white 
top on the marble. It's going to be a 60 inch vanity, double sinks, and then right where the camera is, that'll be the toilet there. Going to have a custom double hamper set up here. So you can just pull it down, throw your dirty clothes, pull it down, throw your dirty clothes. And then on top of that, you're going to have your shelves for towels or whatever it may be. This bathroom, I guarantee you, you do not see it in any house. I promise you. I see all the remodeled projects. I've done many remodeled projects myself. This has not been done in any home in this area. Double shower head, that big of a niche box. If you find it, let me know. It's only here. This property, I told you already, it has many custom features. And also beneath the surface, the plumbing on the property is all completely brand new. Copper piping throughout, new drainage piping throughout, all done with permits. This is a true turnkey property. Now let's take you to the rest. All right, so here in the hallway bathroom, you can see the tiling that's getting set up right now. This is what will match up into the primary bathroom that I just showed the floor tiling of the shower is the same style but a different cut of the tile pattern this is more of a rectangular shape and in the primary bathroom I have more of a hexagon shape the bathroom was rearranged a little bit where the camera was along that back wall was the old vanity now the vanity switched over to this way it's going to be 48 inches and then we're gonna have the toilet from where it was over here. Now it's gonna be in the back corner over there. And then behind the camera as well, I'll show you in the next clip the skylight up above. All right, so as I mentioned, the skylight that we have in this bathroom is very unique. Glass has been replaced up on there. Gonna leave that style. I like that a lot. Everybody that comes in here always has something to say about that in a positive way. And then again, the vanity will be right over here, 48 inches, and then we will have the toilet in the back corner. The bathroom overall is a tight space, but the rearranging of the layout makes it a lot more efficient. It's bedroom number two of the house, faces out towards the front of the home. And this is bedroom number three, faces out towards the back of the home. All right, so here I am in the utility room. This path right here is through the kitchen. I can see a straight shot to the opposite end of the home. Here you have your washer and dryer hookups, so be stacked side by side in each other. We have wall cabinets coming out this way and then towards on this side over here you'll have uh, have a custom folding table so it can actually go out this way and then if you want to do your laundry fold everything right here that'll be available space for you there inside here we have our water heater HVAC system we have the furnace and the coil set up over here brand new carrier four ton and up top here you can see the Attic space access, the spray foam insulation along the ceiling of the attic, six and a half inches. It makes this home a five star insulated home with that spray foam insulation. If you know about that, you know that is a top quality that you can have. All new ductwork throughout the home. This home is truly a turnkey property, not just cosmetics that you see in traditional flips. I went about it to take everything into perspective and make sure everything was dialed in as if I was going to be living in this house myself. So I know that anybody who buys this home is going to get a true turnkey property. All right, coming out from the utility slash laundry room, we're in the backyard space. Behind me is the ADU. The electricity is off in there. It's getting kind of dark right now, so I won't go give you a tour of that just yet. But we do have a full bedroom, bath, living room, kitchen, all it's going to get legalized with the city of San Jose that's currently pending right now. That will be all fully renovated as well. And as you can see, the detached ADU is attached to the detached garage. There's a long driveway out this side. You can park, honestly, three, four cars on the driveway and two more cars in the garage. It's a wider garage than normal as well. There's a washer and dryer inside the garage also for the ADU. And then going around this way... You see the rest of the backyard. It's currently in progress. As you can see, there was tons of bushes all throughout. And, you know, we'll, we'll actually take you, we'll, we'll go a little further in there and I'll show you. There were bushes all throughout, trees that were not needed. We had a huge fountain back there. If you see some of my other videos on YouTube or Instagram, 
you'll see that pointed out and it took the crew about seven eight days just to demo that two guys demoing it all day long it was solid solid stone and concrete there so now that's all gone as you can see we're going to fill this whole area with new grass the ledge there is going to continue because that fence line over there is going to be demoed out i'll show you what we're building on the other side is going to be an extension of the backyard it's going to create more privacy on that side of the home as we're on a corner lot and it's going to make the backyard obviously that much more bigger let's go towards that way and i'll show you all right so as you can see we have two fences now on side to side this is previously the old fence that to my left and then to my right we have the new fence so the windows as you can see right over here to the home this face is straight inside we're on a corner lot the street is right over here so i said let's build the fence out extend the backyard add some more privacy to both of these windows you have the other window right over here too going this way this tree's in the way right now this is going to be knocked down but the other window behind me there and then that's going to add the more privacy all the way through you're going to have this opening right over here and that's going to go shoot you out to the front of the property there and then we have an additional door on this side of the home that will push out so if you're wanting to unload things from the car you can pull up to the side of the house and the walkways here so you have two side yard doors which you don't really see very too much in homes at all so nice to have both options you can lock up one of one of them if you choose not to have it accessible so this area here is going to have all new grass as this fence behind me is going to be knocked out and then the backyard is going to be that much more bigger and then the side where the camera is situated now we're going to have pavers running all the way through just because this is a little bit of a narrow walkway it's about five feet wide so in terms of having grass this way to mow it and whatnot it might be become a, a little pain so i just figured to put down concrete pavers and then we're going to add some more nice landscaping along the left hand side here all right everyone i'm going to wrap up the video now it's getting dark outside i wanted to show you some more aspects of the backyard but we'll save that for future videos and future updates so this project that I have, it's going to be done maybe in about six weeks. Like I mentioned in the beginning of the video, if you're a buyer in the Bay Area, this, there is an exclusive opportunity for exclusive clients of mine only to purchase this before it hits the market. So you can avoid overbids, multiple offers, and guessing on what the price point is. You'll have a transparent price on this home easy smooth transaction less cooks in the kitchen is always better i say this house fully remodeled as you can see all done the right way a true turnkey project if this home is not something you may be interested in or not in your budget this is a three million dollar price point i do have another home coming up in south san jose at the end of september that one is around the two million dollar price point four bedrooms two baths two thousand square feet if one of these two homes are not quite within your budget or exactly your desired home, it's still wise as a buyer to contact me, become an exclusive client of mine, because that is the only way you'll have access to these full turnkey homes before they hit the market. It is the only way to beat out the competition. I'm constantly buying these properties throughout the Bay Area. My focus primarily is in Silicon Valley, but if there's a deal anywhere else throughout the immediate Bay, I will buy it along with clients of mine. I've been doing this for now nearly a decade. I am a broker as well. So there are aspects to my business that I'm able to offer, which many other do not, including the fact that I'm the owner and investor of these properties, such as this one as well. I can be reached at 408-909-0900. My name is Ramson Jacob, AKA Mr. Bay Area. I'm a broker and investor. You can find me on YouTube as you are now, Instagram, I'm not hard to find. Below on the description box will be a link to my calendar for free to schedule a 30 minute call at your convenience. Like I said again, if one of these homes are of interest to you, please don't hesitate to reach out. If not, we can help you find the next one or you can be in line for my next project as it comes upon in the future. Thank you again, appreciate your time and I'll see you on the next one.